As a nation now ready to take global challenges, we are fortunate to be blessed with many resources, such as our natural resources, our human capital, our expertise in diverse fields, our infrastructural facilities, and many more. One historical resource we have at our disposal is English, and we intend to use it as we would our other resources. It is in this light that we should use English as a resource or pragmatic tool for international participation and knowledge acquisition. In this respect, the Ministry of Higher Education has identified English as one of the important tools in achieving our plans as outlined in the National Strategic Plan for Higher Education. The English language, for example, is an integral part of our roadmap towards making Malaysia an international hub for excellence in higher education. Towards this end, we have made tremendous progress in internationalizing our institution of higher learning, as seen in the increasing number of international students and teaching staff in Malaysia, our expanding international network of strategic partners and collaborative programs, and the widespread recognition of expertise and contribution from Malaysian universities. This process of interna internationalization is dependent on many other factors, such as excellent infrastructural support, good management culture, and strong academic leadership. But the process has also been facilitated through the use of English as a medium of interaction. In, international, in, in internationalizing our institution of higher learning, it is our aim to ensure that all graduates of Malaysian universities, both local and international, will be internationally productive, competitive, and marketable. We would like them to leave our universities armed not only with disciplinary knowledge, but also soft or generic skills that will enable them to spearhead their respective nations or organizations' challenge on the global stage. The Ministry has therefore identified communication skills, especially in English, as one of the soft skills to be developed in tertiary education. Some of the other soft skills, such as lifelong learning and information management skills, as well as team working skills and leadership, are also heavily reliant on efficient and confident use of the English language. In the context of the importance of English for tertiary education, lifelong learning and international participation, I would like to invite everyone to adopt a new perspective to the term equity in education, which is one of the trust areas in the National Strategic Plan for Higher Education. Equity in education refers to opening up access and ensuring fair and equal opportunity to education for all. Conventionally, the target group for assistance has been those who are physically and economically disadvantaged. In the context of English, I would like to suggest that equity in education be extended to those who are linguistically disadvantaged. We live in an era of globalization where proficiency in English plays 
an important role in ensuring success in education, in gaining employment, in facilitating lifelong learning, and in increasing efficiency in international participation. It is therefore important that education providers ensure that all learners have equitable opportunity to improve their command of the language to be competitive. We need to ensure the deficiency in English or in any language 